good gaming gamers in this video i will show you some tips and tricks on how to accomplish the quests within the lunar beast event so uh, three of these items should be done in the intro mode of the co-op versus ai mode and those are the lunar axe lunar blade and this the lunar flintlocks why because you need to do them quickly the the intro mode of the cop versus ai mode is a fast paced game meaning to say it is easily done and you can accomplish it quickly and this requires uh, a bit uh, of that requirement okay take for example the lunar axe wherein you should uh, accomplish uh, the game or finish the game within 15 minutes and also you need to destroy turrets with your team and you should do that quickly together with this this one this requirement so that needs a fast-paced game so you should do this in the intro mode of the co-op versus AI mode this one for example lunar blade you can gain one point for each takedown so you should kill champion opponents every time and do it quickly and many times so that you can level it up fast however this one uh, the MVP or SVP quest can be disregarded uh, so so you cannot be pressured with the, uh, the, the the quest so this one also needs to be a fast-paced game so go to the intro mode of the co-op versus AI mode okay this one the lunar flint blocks need you needs you to acquire or uh, win a game or lose a game you can also get points for that or get yourself into a pre-made team so this one needs a fast-paced game also but you need to be in a team or a party so i suggest that you find uh, parties in the party finder or uh, create a party of your own so take note that this three okay should be done in the intro mode of the co-op versus ai mode however this one the lunar spear should be done in the intermediate mode of the co-op versus ai mode why because it requires you to kill dragons and the reef herald delaying the game will uh, give you the opportunity to kill every dragon and a rip herald response so i suggest that you get the more difficult co-op versus ai mode that's the intermediate mode so the champion opponents there are tougher compared to the intro mode so you can uh wait for the respawn of the dragon and get uh the, the opportunity to kill kill the response of dragon and rip heralds okay i suggest that when you do your quest with this this and that um weapons uh make sure you get an adc type champion so you can accomplish or uh, win or finish a match quickly however when uh, doing the lunar spear quest I suggest that you get a jungler and equip yourself with a smite and for you who are asking how to accomplish lunar bear this is anis doll uh, you don't need to click on this because it is already activated whenever you give you give a gift to a friend or to another player or gamer so it will level up each time you give a gift but I think most of us, if not all, will do that as of now, right? That includes me. 
So I uh, suggest you skip that and wait for this event. Because according to some gamers, you can also collect lunar tokens accomplishing some of the quests that will be given in this coming up event. So if you don't accomplish every weapon here in the Lunar Beast event, the phase one, you can never get the, the amount of token that is needed to get this. I know that each and every one of us is expecting to or trying to get this Lunar Beast random skin chest. But take note guys that the reward that will be given here unfortunately will not be a lunar beast skin it is a random skin only so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in game and grind up with the lunar beast event and as always keep gaming and be a good gamer